two plus two, the third leg of uh, this meeting between India and the United States. Yeah. What are the key takeaways? Well, it's incredibly important for Secretary Mike Pompeo and Secretary Esper uh, to go to India to have this two plus two. You know, our relationship um, with between the United States and India uh, has been around for a very long time. It will be around for decades or much longer in the future. Uh, the relationship goes beyond political parties, right? This relationship between the United States and India is important to everybody in our defense and security uh, establishment. So, you know, we have many friends and allies, of course, around the world, um, but we have very selective partners like India where we actually take the time to do the two plus two. So we know that both of our countries, uh, we reaffirmed, are committed to the free and open Indo-Pacific. Um, that's really important because as we enter this era of global competition, uh, one of the things that are going to be, one of the things that's going to be crucial and fundamental is freedom of navigation, is freedom of the seas, uh, is, the, is the free flow of, of trade, uh, of goods, of exchanging of ideas. Uh, so we are really there, of course, to not only to continue to strengthen and underpin their relationship, uh, but also to remind um, the government of India and the citizens of India how important our shared values between the United States and India really are. All right. Now, everyone's been talking about the timing of this visit just yeah. before the most historic uh, election <laughs> that the United States would yeah. ever witness. Uh, what does uh, this signify? What message does it really go to India and, and the world? Well, you've got the two, the world's two largest democracies uh, that are meeting right before a U.S. election. But again, as I pointed out, you know, this relationship goes beyond one political party or one administration. Um, and, and we believe that the values that bind us together will be important um, for whomever wins uh, this presidential uh, election.